Today, I'm in North Seattle at Discovery Park, doing a little bit of beach combing on my final full day here in the Northwest for a while. Let's see what we can find. If you're interested in rock hounding anywhere in, in the Puget Sound region, you just go to a beach. Go to a rocky beach and you'll find some amazing treasures. It doesn't matter where you go. Look at this view. I gotta make it my way down to that point over there. This is beautiful. All right, I made it down here. I made it down, it's gonna be windy. There'll be some windy noise. I'll try to reduce it, but here we go. Let's see what we can find today. Well, 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 what do I have here? That is, that's a design. That's a sea glass design right there. That's wild. That's crazy. That's awesome. Well, that's a good find. There it is. There's a piece of petrified wood. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. First one of the day. The seaweed certainly is making it a little bit harder to spot anything, but this is such a secluded beach. Like there's no one here. I think there's someone with a dog way down there. This is such a secluded beach. I'm kind of, I'm kind of all by myself here. So it's really perfect. Can I find anything? Boop. I'm trying to stay out of the seaweed just so that I have a better chance of seeing anything because I'm not spotting anything under that or that. But maybe in this band, I could possibly find some goodies. Here's a nice little uh, chert or jasper. It's a beautiful color. It goes from like a red to a green. That's a wonderful little rock. This is a great little beach. It is cold though. It, it is seriously cold. That's for sure. It's only been about 30 feet. What is this? What is this? This could just be quartz. That's exactly what this is. That tricked me though. That got me. All right. Haven't found any agates yet, but I'm feeling good about it. They're out here. All right, well, the tide's pretty high in right now. So the tide's going out, but yeah, look at all that seaweed just covering a lot of the rocks. But look at this bluff. This is all marine deposits. Oh, there's even some falling up there. Um, yeah, look at that. This is really quite a cool sight. Holy cow. Look at this little cave. Obviously, I'm not the first to find it, but wow. That is seriously impressive. That's really cool. I'll look at these rocks real quick and then turn around. I'll show you if I find anything. And there it is. A golf ball. Oh, this one's been in the water a while. Nice. It's actually really light. Weird. All right, I found a nice green jasper. I'm gonna wash it off in the kind of gross water. Come on, gross water. A little milky today. All right, that is a beautiful green jasper. That's for sure. That's a nice little sea glass right here. That's jewelry grade. That's really nice. There's a ton of it too. There's some up there. This is a really beautiful beach. So Alki is just right over there. That's Elliott Bay in there. And on the other side of the hill, Space Needle downtown. Discovery Park, right here in the middle of the city. And then just down there is the lighthouse. I finally reached 
a section of the beach that is not absolutely full of seaweed. It's kind of above, but I think the tide's kind of gotten low enough now where I can actually see what I'm looking for. Let's see if my, uh, let's see if my luck improves. Look at that lighthouse. It's a very nice light. It's a very nice lighthouse. Look at that lighthouse. I've reached the end of this side of the point. So I've kind of gone from all the way down there to here after climbing down the bluff there. So I'm gonna see if I can get to the other side of this and keep going. I am a little limited on time. So wish me luck. Let's see what we can find. There's a blue heron right as I make my way around the corner of the lighthouse. Let's see if I can get into this calm area without uh, twisting a ankle. All right, now I'm on the North Beach and it is pretty calm up here. I think the tide, yeah, the tide is going out so you can see the uh, current is rushing to the north right now. So this is like a little backwater and so it's really calm. The wind is just coming over the little bluff here, but it is, it is very calm. The, wa the waves are a lot calmer right here. Well, right now, if it was, uh, if the tide was coming in, this would be getting hammered. So I'm gonna see what I can find on all those rocks over here. I'll let you know. Almost walked right over it. This little bit of sea pottery. That's very nice. And a little sea glass. A lot of this, you find a lot of this stuff at this beach. I haven't found very many agates. Actually, I found none. I do see some more sea pottery over here. And another sea glass right here. Right there. There's another little sea pottery. Huh. That's pretty cool. These are, don't really find these that often. So that's really nice. There's some milk glass, milk carton glass. Don't really see that often. That's a really rare one. I've only really found this at Glass Beach in Port Townsend. That's pretty cool. That, that's some blue glass right there. Wow. That's some nice sea glass. It's pretty dang good, even if it is chipped, which I don't know yet. That is gorgeous. What a beautiful color. Blues are always very rare with sea glass because they break down so quickly. This is a great little sea glass beach. There we go, first agate. You can definitely tell the difference between this quartz and the agate. It just glow, the camera can't quite pick it up, but it glows a bit more. This is a little bit more opaque and that glows. And versus that to sea glass. Let's see, there's some, there's some sea glass. Versus sea glass over here, this green, that's very clear. And it's just, there's just a definite difference between the two and three. And there we go. There's a nice little, little chalcedony. All right. Took me a while. Finally found some. Now it's time to find some more. I have to leave soon. So perfect timing. <laughs> There's another little blue. Just a little blue. Oh, that is nice. That is a beautiful little glass. It's very pretty. Very nice. I see a blue, a big old blue, but usually that means it's just glass and not sea glass. Let's see. Oh, oh, no. Uh, 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 it's all right. Can't usually find them, so I'll take it anyway. I was bending down to look at this thing. And then there's some grayish chalcedony. Might just be gray because of the host rock, but that's nice. 
That was a great time, had a lot of great finds, but you know, life calls, I had to leave. So I wasn't able to get a final shot or anything else. So the last thing you guys saw was the last thing I got. I'll show a video of my finds. All right, until next time, have a good one.